Okay, developing right now, the feds have made it to the top. After months of investigating, former UAW President Gary Jones has been charged in the corruption scandal that's rocked the union. Federal prosecutors say Jones played a key role to funnel more than a million dollars from the union. Including everything from lavish trips to tens of thousands of dollars in alcohol and expensive cigars. Rod Maloney spoke with the U.S. attorney today as he laid out the charges. It's not like this is unexpected. We've been waiting for something like this to happen, but the charges still are impressive in that Gary Jones is charged with embezzlement of union funds. He's charged with tax evasion and racketeering. And the U.S. Attorney's Office is saying the sad irony here is that he ran as a reformer. It was about a year ago Gary Jones sold his indignation hard. I am deeply saddened and irritated that some members of this union and some leaders in the auto companies exploited their positions to benefit themselves. Then a few months later, the FBI and IRS raided Jones's Canton home, finding loose cash in the garage. The feds call this a multifaceted embezzlement scheme. Hundreds of thousands of dollars stolen, more than 60,000 in cash delivered to Jones directly from, the feds say, this man. Bald in the light suit here, UAW Region 5 underling Edward Nick Robinson. He pled guilty Monday to doing the heavy lifting in the case. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider is saying... Instead of that cash and property going to help the men and women of the union, Mr. Jones spent it on his own personal enjoyment and on the whims of other high-ranking union officials. The feds say $129,000 for luxury condos and villas, $80,000 for greens fees and merchandise, $65,000 for lavish restaurants, spa services, clothes, musicals, amusement park tickets, horse rides on the beach, and more than $15,000 in expensive cigars. As for the UAW's future... Some of the proposed changes I've seen I'm not impressed with, and I don't think that's going to do the trick. Signaling that there could very well be a federal takeover of the UAW. The UAW, of course, not happy with that idea. They've been trying to reform, uh, and in fact, today, the union went out of its way to say that in no way, shape, or form is the current president, Rory Gamble, under any investigation. In the meantime, the union also decried its former president's action, calling it a breach of trust in a very large way. Back to you. But, but Rod, let's let's uh, clear uh, one point of uh, of this up, which is that they the feds are calling this an information rather than an indictment, right? Right, Devin. And what that means is that there are negotiations underway with Gary Jones right now, more than likely to be a guilty plea. That's how it's played out so far. He's the 14th in a long line in this investigation, and we've seen that happen over and over again. But it hasn't been settled yet, so we're going to have to wait and see when and if Gary Jones yeah. does plead guilty yeah. and when he makes it to court in downtown Detroit. Yeah, we sure will. All right, Rod.